Paris Teeter, puzzle agent. We just left you off on the last episode, and we're going to continue on with episode two. Uh, this is just to make up for my little recording error last time, but we'll continue on. Excuse let's, let's me, you look perplexed. Puzzles. So many puzzles. Puzzles? I might be able to help you with that. Bo has swallowed a rubber band again. His x-ray shows only tapeworms, or does it? Rotate segments of, his pesky, of the pesky parasites to reveal the hidden object. Oh my. Oh my. Okay, so we'll put him like this, and him like this. And he will go, no, more like that, yeah. That looks good. That looks good. This does not look good. That looks good. That looks good. Nope. No, you're not right. Okay, so you need to turn. Like that. What's the hidden object? Is that it? What? Bo swallowed rubber band again. His x-ray shows only tapeworms or does it rotate segments? Oh, okay, so I have to find the rubber band.
Yeah, we're gonna submit it. Man, that was that like a tricky one. Yes, I got it. Oh man, this game is so good. Let's see how. So yeah. Make a complete closed circle with the loop in the middle can work. Yeah, I did that. Solved. Now maybe you can relax a little. With the uh, whispers, if it's an acrostical enigma, it's a Baltimore trans deletion. The whispers? The whispers. Or not. <laughs> Got any more puzzles you need help with? Puzzles. No new puzzles yet. Brain is oh, always thinking, thinking about puzzles. I'll just check in on you later. He's going to have more puzzles later. Someone left a screwdriver in the alley beside the hotel. Looks clean. Probably of no consequence. Uh -huh. What is this? Hmm. Winner undeclared in local contest. Oh. The Animal Grill Ladies Arm Wrestling Tournament is over and the judge missed it. Read the four statements to help him determine the winner. Will do. Outmatched by the Grizzly Grip. Pat one fair and square. Close Grizzly Grip. Couldn't whip me. I pinned Pearl like a new hat. Okay. So she has the grizzly grip. Flo's grizzly grip couldn't be her. But if she pinned Pearl, Pat one fair and square. Who's... She's Flo. Pat beat Pearl. Right? Flo's grizzly grip couldn't beat her. So flow. Is that Pearl or Pat? It's... Uh, we'll go with you. You look like a winner. You look like a winner. Did you win? Accept, accept. Yes! Yes! <laughs> How did you win that? I don't even understand. The fourth, the four person tournament means that there were three matches. In the first two matches, two competitors were eliminated. The final match, the two winners faced off, and the winners of that was champion Flo, the wielder of the Grizzly Grip. One match, one match, and lost another. That's only possible if she won her first match, preceded by the final match, and lost. The woman who beat the Grizzly Grip is the winner. Uh, that was a tricky one. Yeah, it actually was. Let's go through here. Keep an eye out for gum. I need the... Yeah, look, there's gum. Is there gum on the window here? The residents of Skagen seem nice enough. Yeah, Aside from one wild goose chase, everyone's been cooperative. <laughs> Bjorn. Plus, it looks like I'm primed for all the hot dish I can eat. It remains mm -hmm. to be seen if that's a good thing. I got a map from the hotel owner, so I'm heading over to the eraser factory. Agent Tether is out. <laughs> Am I supposed yeah. to be saying that? Mm, I don't think you're supposed to be saying it in front of Bjorn. Oh, I gotta get in it. Select the factory. Oh man, this is so cool. Man, there's gonna be tons of puzzles. Man, this is so cool. <laughs> Yeah, I'm uh, Nelson Tethers of the FBI's Department of Puzzle... Agent Tethers, good to meet you. <laughs> we got a real mess here. Yes, we do. We do? Oh, yeah. It's gonna be a while before we can get this factory running again. Oh, man. But my job is to get this factory back to making erasers. Agent Tethers, you're in a right pickle. <laughs> well, I should probably ask you some questions about the incident, then. That's what I'd do if I was a big, important FBI <laughs> boy. Yeah, that's what I would do. Okay, uh, let's ask about the foreman What first. happened to the foreman? My notes don't have a lot of details. Well, we're still trying to figure that out. 
One day after work, Mr. Dabner just never came home. The accident was pretty bad. Oh, is there, uh, is a there a body? <laughs> nope. He just gone. Isaac Dabner's his name, if you don't have that in your notes. We don't okay. even know if he died in that explosion? Won't be able to find that out till we find a way into the factory. We need a cock. See? What was There's this gear. incident? Well, we don't need to be dramatic. What happened? There was an explosion. What? what? Oh, yeah. A big explosion. And the foreman just never came home. Hmm. Okay, there's the puzzle. Well, so what did your investigation turn up? Not much. I can't figure out how to get past this lock. It's because well, you're missing a that's because it's missing a piece. I can see that just by looking at it. So it is. I guess that's why you make the big bucks, right? <laughs> that's right, sir. <laughs> this voice. Okay, time. When did the accident. accident take place? Well, I've been trying to figure that out myself. Here's what I know. The Rest Easy Guard Service was employed to keep watch over the factory from midnight to midnight yesterday. From their statements, you can determine the time of the big noise. This is, I really like this game. This is really good. Okay, Bernie Pup Alley. Boom, one hour before the last ship started. I get the shortest shift, three hours. Only Bernie put in the full eight hours. Okay. Worked from six till I was relieved. Uh-huh. Man. Okay, so 12 hour day. Put in the full eight hours. I had the shortest shift, three hours. I worked from six to from six till I was relieved. So he works from six. Six. Oh man. This is confusing. Okay, so boom, one hour before the last shift started. Right. So he worked first. He is the, this is the last shift. Only burnt because he didn't start. This effect won't boom. Okay. So burning was the last one. The shortest shift is three hours. So one, two, three. Okay. One, two. He worked from six till he was relieved. So three, four. Okay. Hmm. Using. Um, okay, 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 let's try and use our heads. Bernie put in the full eight hours, okay, so he put in eight hours. So, when did he start? Who knows? Who knows? Um, I get the shortest shift, three hours. So, pop. Six, and he was relieved by Bernie, right? So... So three hours, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, three hours would be six. Six till he was relieved. So, what am I supposed to do? Can you determine the time with a big noise? So he didn't put in eight hours, and he didn't put in eight hours, and he didn't put in 
he only put in three. Um, so he worked from 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, right? Um, what was the hint? He started at 6, but did he start at 6 a.m. or p.m.? Only one of those possibilities given the condition. Okay. So, 6, right? And then, um, so he worked up into 6 and 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Then 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7. So, 11. Carefully, the big noise could only have occurred at one time. Mm. We're gonna use another hint. Yes, more. Please. Pop worked the last shift ending at midnight. Boom, one hour before the last shift started. So, one. So if he worked from 6 to 9, and then 10 to 11, 11 to, so then Pop worked, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, so 7. Starter in Demon Knight, did it say? Okay, one more. The big noise happened an hour before Pop's three hour shift began. I'm done. shift. Then Iggy started at 6 a.m. and ended at 1 p.m. Hold on. Bernie worked eight hours, right? Okay, Al, who's Iggy? Iggy is the, yeah, Iggy. Man, I'm remembering all the Koopas now. Then Iggy started at 6 a.m. and ended at 1 p.m. Bernie worked the third shift. Since he had heard the noise, his shift went to 6 to 9 p.m., so the explosion happened at 8 p.m. six-hour shift. Okay. If there was an explosion at that time, Man. wouldn't the icicles on the building have been knocked off? Hmm. Good point. Huh. Maybe they grew back. It's possible. Well, I don't seem to be getting a lot of answers. <laughs> I'm so confused. That Listen, was, that was really why don't you meet me down at the Moose Ear Diner later? I have some files related to the case that you might be able to help me with. Oh, okay. Okay, sure. but I really think... Agent Tethers, it's a pleasure working with you. You're doing a great job. Thank you. Meet you at the moose here in a bit. Okay. See you soon. There's some gum there. Did you just take my snowmobile? Hmm. Well, we are going to end this episode there. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you're enjoying this series as much as I am. This is so much fun. Um, we're gonna... We'll see you in the next episode, okay? Just have fun. Don't get into trouble. And enjoy. It's a good good series. I hope you're enjoying it. Bye.